بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ایپ سیکس آن لائن سپورٹ پروگرام راؤنڈ تھری دس از سکسٹین ویک آف ریویژن اور ٹیکس بک نیم از آکسفورڈ نیو سیکنڈری سائنس بائی ڈیوڈ کوپاک پیجز آر سکسٹین ٹو ٹوینٹی سیون یونٹ از ٹو سیلس ٹیشوز اینڈ آرگینس آل ٹاپکس آف دس چیپٹر ریسورسز ریکوائرڈ ٹیکس بک لیپ ٹاپ موبائل اینڈ نوٹ بک اینڈ دا ٹاپ سم ٹاپکس وچ آر ٹو بی ریوائزڈ آر ڈسکرائب سیلس ٹیشوز اینڈ آرگین ڈسکرائب ورکنگ آف مائکروسکوپ بریفلی ایکسپلین میجر آرگینس آف باڈی ڈسکرائب سینس آرگین دیٹ از آئی ایئر نوز ٹنگ اینڈ اسکن کوٹ آف دا ڈے یو آر بریور دین یو بلیو اینڈ اسٹرانگر دین یو سیم اینڈ اسمارٹر دین یو تھنک اٹ مینس ڈونٹ انڈر ایسٹیمیٹ یور سیلف یو آر دا بیسٹ ناؤ ان دس چیپٹر وی آر ریوائزنگ سم ٹاپکس آف دس چیپٹر دا ٹاپک از کریکٹرسٹکس آف لیونگ تھنگس ایز یو نو دیٹ آل لیونگ تھنگس لکس ڈفرینٹ مینس دے آر ناٹ سیم بٹ ون تھنگ از کامن دیٹ از دے آر اے لائف دے کین بریت دے کیری آؤٹ سیم لائف پروسیسز واٹ آر لائف پروسیسز دے آر فیڈنگ گروئنگ موونگ ریسپونڈنگ ریپروڈیوسنگ ریسپائریشن اینڈ ایکسکریشن ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ایز یو نو سیلس آر یونٹ آف لائف and the living things are some living things are unicellular and some are multicellular unicellular means one cell and multi means more than one they are very tiny and can be seen by microscope now what is the working of microscope and how it is designed As I told you that some things, some living things are very tiny. They can be seen only by microscope. Why? Because with the help of microscope, the object looks larger. Two types of microscope are there. One is light microscope and other is electron microscope. Now see the picture on page number 17. Open your books and see the picture. There is a stage on which a slide is placed on which an object is placed. We have to see an object clearly which is present on that slide. And the stage clips are present to hold the slide. You can see a hole in the stage which allow the light to pass through. Diaphragm adjusts the amount of light to pass through that how much light will go through. from that hole the focus and coarse focusing knobs this adjusts the distance between the stage and the objective light passes from the objective lens through the eyepiece lens and into your eye Ob you can see eyepiece lens that is the first part of the microscope and the objective lens are there which can be adjustable and rotate which can rotate according to the size of the object you can adjust that objective lens which are uh, which can be x5 x10 x20 or x40 now we will revise today the major organs of the body first i told you about animal and plant cell 
you are learning these animal and plant cell from your previous class that animal and plant cell have something similar and they have something different nucleus cytoplasm and cell membrane they are present in animal cell also and in plant cell also cell wall chloroplast and vacuole a big vacuole a large vacuole is present in plant cell some small vacuoles are also present in animal cell but a large vacuole is present in a plant cell cell wall is present only in plant cell but not in animal cell now come to the topic of major organs of the body human body has different organs and has a significant role we will discuss one by one the major organs of the body the first one is the stomach open page number 21 the stomach is a muscular sac which holds the food and then digest the food means when you take the food in from the esophagus it will reach the stomach where it stays some time and then its wall produce hydrochloric acid which kills bacteria in the food and helps in digestion of protein and in this way the food is digested liver liver is the largest organ and removes dead red blood cells in the blood gall bladder is present in the is present beneath the liver which stores bile liver keeps the body warm you can see clearly the picture the diagram on page number 21 that the gall bladder is beneath the liver which stores bile our next major organ is our kidneys kidneys play a very important role kidneys clean the blood by filtering urea and other waste along with some water as you know during digestion some food will go in the large intestine which is called a waste product and some will enter in the blood so kidneys clean the blood by filtering urea and other waste this is done by millions of tiny tubes called nephrons the filtered fluid is urine which flows to the bladder through the nephron the bladder is a sac like structure a bag like structure so through these nephrons it will reach the bladder from there the urine will pass out kidneys control the amount of water in the body means the whole day you will take the water the water which is used by the body and the rest of the water which is filtered through this these kidneys and through these nephrons our next major organ is heart heart is a pump made of muscles see the diagram on page number 22 very clearly it is very clearly it is shown that two ways are shown the blood will go out from the heart one which will go to the body and one which will go to the lungs actually it is two pumps in one one pump send blood to the lungs where it collect oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide other pump takes the oxygen 
to the cells in the body and collect CO2. The second pump which you can see which is going to the lungs. Valves are present to stop the blood from flowing in wrong direction. The heart is divided into four chambers. The upper two chambers are called atria and the lower two chambers are called ventricle. So valves are present which will help to stop the flow of blood go in a wrong direction. Our next topic is lungs. Lungs put oxygen from the air into the blood and send carbon dioxide the other way. In other words, we can say inhale and exhale. We inhale the oxygen to the body and we exhale the oxygen, uh, carbon dioxide out of the body. Lungs are two bags of spongy tissues consist of tiny air sacs called alveoli. Alveoli have very thin valves, walls and are surrounded by blood capillaries. As you breathe in and out, gas exchange takes place through the walls of the alveoli. Next is brain. Brain is a pink wrink wrinkled organ inside the skull. The reason behind is that the skull is a hard part and brain is very soft part. So the skull covered the brain to get injured. Inside the brain are billions of tiny nerve cells called neurons. And these neurons control everything we do. Now come to our next topic, sense organs. Dear students, as you know that we have five senses. Eyes, nose, ears, tongue and skin. First of all, eyes. They are sense organs of sight present in the skull. Now I will show you the working that what happened, how do eyes work, how we see the object. See the diagram on page number 25. As you know that we are revising the topic, so I am not showing you the diagram on the slide. Open your book in front of you and listen to me properly. Light from an object enters the eye through the hole called pupil. Light is focused by the cornea and lens and sharp image is formed on retina which is behind the eye. Amount of light is controlled by the iris. You can see properly in your diagram that how can we see the object. The muscle of the iris change the size of the pupil to allow more or less light to pass through. On the retina are millions of light sensitive nerve cells the brain interprets signals from the retina and produces the picture that you see. Our next topic is ears. Ears are the organ of hearing. It is divided into three parts. Outer ear, middle ear and inner ear. Open page number 26. See the diagram of the ear. It is clearly shown everything which I will tell you in points. 
the ear flap see the diagram properly the ear flap collect the vibration and send to short canal to the ear drum the hammer and will and stirrup are small bones which amplify the vibrations the vibrations are detected by the cochlea which is a rounded part this cochlea send the message to the brain and we hear the sound the semicircular canals are the organs of balance the liquid in the canals move when you move this moving liquid is detected by the nerve cells which send message to the brain now our next topic is the skin the skin is the largest organ of the human body what does it mean that it is spread all over the body it has two main layers inner layer and outer layer lots of nerve cells are there to detect touch temperature and pain now comes to tongue our tongue has taste buds which are sensitive to bitter salty sour and sweet these are the flavors which our tongue is sensitive nerve cells in the taste buds send signal to the brain which interprets them as taste means you can find the taste by these nerve cells which are present in the taste buds our last sense organ is nose nose contain nerve cells that are sensitive to chemicals in air when we breathe in these chemicals dissolves and are detected by nerve cells present in the nose and send signals to the brain which interpret them as smells plus very interesting thing is that that flavors are smells that's why you do not taste your food so well if you have a blocked nose or you you are in a cold your you if if a cold block your nose means you have a congestion or you have a blocked nose now the work is done in osp round 2 now this osp round 3 is only for revision and learning so dear students please learn and revise all the work related to this chapter and do practice of all diagram of this chapter as you know that science is nothing without diagram moral value when a flower doesn't bloom you fix the environment in which it grows you will not fix the flower thank you and allah hafiz